Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The content inside of FIFA 22 Black Friday right now is insane. It is crazy the amount of content that we have had with SBCs in the past day and it's not going to stop. It is going to continue to roll through on this promo. We have new cards coming into packs today with a mini release of the summer signings cards. I want to talk about that. That's coming actually early. 2 p.m. UK today, we're going to see more cards and packs. So just like Thursday, uh, sorry, just like Friday, it's going to start really early today. Maybe uh, lightning rounds, well, actually probably lightning rounds today, but maybe the first preview packs of Black Friday. More Flash SBCs are coming today, potentially a flashback Chiellini SBC, and we still don't know where that Black Friday uh, party bag pack is that has been added to the code. So we'll talk about that today as well as look at what everybody is doing and what the market is doing right now with this insane SBC content, right? This is the most crazy content that I think I have ever seen inside of a promo. Like the amount of upgrade packs that are out right now in this game is ridiculous. Of course, we have the league upgrades, the 81 plus doubles, which everybody is doing the 81 plus double league one. This actually costs more than a team of the week upgrade pack because of the cards that you can pack from this SBC. I wanna talk about that today. And just, I mean, this 81 plus triple upgrade, right? 83 plus player pick, a 75 plus player pick that I'm hearing is actually kind of cracked, right? A base icon upgrade repeatable, a foot hero upgrade repeatable. The, the, the content right now is just, at an all-time high, like literally, this is it's never been this high. This is the craziest Black Friday ever, right? We knew this was coming, but it still is insane when you actually see it in the game. So this is affecting the market a lot as well. We had a lot more lightning rounds yesterday, which is making some cards on the market drop in price today into Sunday. And we're gonna have more lightning rounds and we haven't had any preview packs yet. And Sunday has been a preview pack day. If you remember back a couple weeks ago when they dropped that first Icon SBC, they dropped 50k preview packs the day before. So really curious to see if EA does drop preview packs today. We will talk about that uh, in this video as well. Because yes, there's been a lot of promo packs as you can see here. Even right now, they're running a lightning round of the 81 to 89 packs, but they're not selling out. So I'm really curious to see if there are going to be preview packs today on a Sunday. I'm really, really curious about that. And that would really impact the market once again. But let, again, what is everybody doing in this game right now? Why is this content so crazy? Well, it's this League One upgrade SBC that has got everybody, everybody so hyped right now in this game because of all the potential special cards that you can pack from this SBC. Again, if you have not seen this, of course, a lot of people are packing Paqueta, Icardi, Valand. You hate to see those guys in these packs, right? But there's these potential, right, for the Marquinhos, the Neymar, the Mbappe, with all the special cards. Atal is even thrown in there as well. I've seen so many people pack Atal. You know, it's crazy to see how much demand there are for these upgrade packs because of all the special cards that are out. This has got everybody hyped at the moment. I mean, don't sleep on the Premier League upgrade because the Premier League upgrade's got a lot of good cards in it as well. But this is the one that has the kids all hyped, as we say. And you can tell that it's got everybody hyped because League One rares are like 2,000 coins plus per card. It's actually crazy. The people are willing to pay 20,000 coins. Sorry, 20,000 coins per SBC, but like 2,000 coins per card. I mean, take a look at 2,300 2, coins and all you see are these, uh, you know, the cards that people are packing from this SBC, right? It's, it's literally 2,000 coins per player to do this SBC that people are paying at the moment. It's crazy, right? I tweeted out yesterday, I said, this is, SBC is going to be more expensive than the Team of the Week SBC, and it is. It's crazy because everybody is doing that SBC at the moment. That is what has the kids all hyped, as they say. Now, I want to talk about just that specific upgrade pack for a second because a lot of people are packing Cards like this, a lot of people are packing Kempembe's and with, again, being an 83 rated card with the amount of supply from the packs that we have seen on this market, this Kempembe is really starting to drop 14,000 coins. He was 20K yesterday on Saturday at a peak, I do believe. The supply and just people packing this card on tradable is really starting to drop this guy's price on the market. Same thing with Don Ruma, actually. I think Don Ruma right now is like 44,000 coins. He was down at 42K just a bit ago, but he was 50,000 coins uh, yesterday, right? Yesterday he was 50,000 coins. 
This market went on a wild ride from late Friday night when all that supply was coming in and a lot of people sold off cards that they were finishing their Friday games. Then everybody bought stuff Saturday morning with all the coins that were on the market. We talked about that on Twitter. I made a little Twitter thread yesterday and talked about that and kind of put that out there. So go check that out if you have not. Uh, that link will be down below in the description. But that's kind of like the market seems honestly pretty stagnant, right? Not a ton of prices have moved crazy amounts. Uh, on this game if we take a look at like the promo team um, after yesterday saturday's rises from the early morning into the day like you look at ben Yedder, he was 780 he rose back up to about 900k 850 back to 900 and right now he's still around 880,000 coins if you take a look at the rest of the team there haven't been a lot of movements renato sanchez of course had a nice jump up in price yesterday because of his link to the sbc that was released uh, in Gelson Martins, which I believe his SBC is a bit overpriced in my opinion, uh, but Renato still is around that 700,000 coin range. Uh, range. I, I think that these cards are going to drop today. I really do think that on Sundays with these, these promos, I think you're going to see literally the whole team of cards drop in price a little bit today. Now, I know like Carlson, Kramerich, all these guys are 30K are technically fodder because they're required for the Gelson Martins and the Benzema SBC. Um, but I think that you're going to see these prices drop a little bit today because the supply is going to start catching up with these cards. And especially if people are fearing a preview pack, more flash SBCs and lightning rounds are 100% coming today. So if people are going to fear a preview pack, I just think it's almost inevitable that some of these cards are going to drop today on Sunday on this game. Now, we talked about Sunday content. I want to go over this for just a little bit. And then we'll get back to the market. Again, in the actual uh, website that EA released about Black Friday, Flash SBCs were going to be released on Friday, as they were, Black Friday, November 26th, and Sunday, November 28th, with a variety of rewards. You won't want to miss them. So today, again on Sunday, and I would imagine that this starts at 2 p.m. UK, we are going to be seeing Flash SBCs continue in this game now why do i say 2 p.m uk well again if you take a look here on the actual news tab on the front page of uh, fifa here it says the signature signings mini release starts today at 2 p.m utc which is 2 p.m uk which is i believe 9 a.m uh, eastern if you're in the usa so kind of do the math on whatever time zone that is going to be for you it's basically four hours before the normal content drop time so I don't know how many players it's going to be released today as a part of this mini release. Uh, you know, somewhere between three to four to five players is what I would imagine. And then all those cards will be in packs until Tuesday. So those cards are only going to be in packs for two days, which is probably going to make them decently rare, more rare than the signature signings team one squad. So that'll be something to kind of keep an eye on and to remember as we go forward. Um, but those cards are going to be getting released today as well. And there's been rumors about a flashback Chiellini. That's been an SBC that's been talked about and potentially like leaked and stuff like that. Um, and so we'll look out for maybe an SBC along those lines for another flashback. I believe last year on Black Friday, we had flashback Aguero and then flashback Alessandrini. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't be anything crazy to see another flashback SBC today on Sunday. But for the mini release, there's a couple cards that we have not seen yet that were big leaks as a part of this promo from last week. Marcus Llorente is one of the most highly anticipated cards that would be dropping into the game today with this cracked looking card which su supposedly should have these exact same stats. So keep an eye out for that today, as well as a Ruben Diaz. I think those are two of the names that we have not seen yet that were like leaks uh, to be a part of the signature, signature signings promo. And we have not seen these cards just yet in this game. So keep an eye out for that. Again, 2 p.m. UK today. 2 p.m. UK is when we will see that stuff. Probably lightning rounds starting at 2 p.m. UK as well. That's what they did on Friday. I would imagine they would do that again today on Sunday as well. Uh, and, and speaking of SBCs, let's go back talking about the SBCs in the market. I mean, literally 17 brand new SBCs yesterday on this game. That's not including any flash SBCs. They didn't release any. 17 brand new SBCs. EA wants you to be turning in and spending coins on SBCs right now at this time. And that's why they've put all these insane cards in packs and they're putting more into packs today. They want you to drain all those new coins that people in FIFA just got from opening lightning rounds and opening packs with FIFA points. They have coins. They have cards in their club. And EA wants you to have opportunities to turn them in 
um, and turn them in for SBCs. And all these SBCs are, are they're honestly crazy, right? I'm gonna go through here and talk about a few of these. Gelson Martins, I'll talk about this one first. 38% up vote, 62% down vote. I just think, I mean, this card does look really, really good, and he has a lot of hype because he links to, of course, that Renato that is out right now, the Ben Yedder. He's a green link to both of those cards, and he's been a player that so many people have wanted to get an SBC uh, in the past two years, but he just doesn't have the hype, right? If they would have boosted his shooting uh, to 80 and his passing to 80 as well, if they could have just given him a slightly bigger boost and made his price like cut in half, then I think so many more people would be interested in this card. 145,000 coins, which if you take out the inflated price of a summer signings player at 30K, it's around like 120,000 coins to do. Um, I mean, even at that price, this Gelson Martins card on the market might be around there. I mean, you look at a tall, and a tall's card, I believe, is like 137K. I feel like on the market, Gelson Martins would be probably because he's so hyped around like 100, 120,000 coins. Uh, but it's just because the five star skills, they didn't upgrade his weak foot. And this guy is just pace and links. I feel like this was a bit of an underwhelming SBC compared to what most people were hoping that it would be. But you still saw a lot of right mids and right wings take a hit yesterday. Di Maria went from 240,000 coins down to 185. He bounced back to a little bit above 200,000 coins there. Uh, I think like even gold Messi took a dip in price and he rebounded back. I believe like right now he's 450. I'm pretty sure Messi was like 420. So he went from 470 down to 436 and then back up to the 450 range where he is now. I think Usman Dembele dropped off a little bit. It basically was just, you know, a substitution right mid that a lot of people wanted to try out uh, because it was released in the game and it was high. But man, there's some actually, there's some SBCs right in here that I want to point out that are actually pretty good value. Foot Hero upgrade repeatable at 100,000 coins. In my opinion, you're kind of staying away from that one. The base icon upgrade is repeatable and it's only 311k. It's out for four more days. This one is very interesting to me um, because it's definitely a lot cheaper than the icon SBCs that were released last week that were like 500,000 coins and this one's repeatable. So people are going to be doing this one uh, and it's not the worst value ever. It's not great, but it's not the worst. Uh, and then the other one I want to point out is the 75 plus player pick. I'm hearing that's pretty OP. And these, these low tier upgrades as well, specifically the League One upgrade, 5,000 coins, because basically non-rares, if you look on the market, we, we looked at the League One rares, right? League One rares are expensive. The League One rare cards are expensive, but if you look at gold commons from like any league, they're like 500 coins a piece. So you can go in here and snipe some of these. It's basically 5K per SBC. You can do like four to five of the lower tier upgrade, the League One upgrade or the Premier League upgrade. You can do like four or five of those for the same price that you can do one of the 81 plus double. So I think in my opinion, what I'm gonna be doing today is you need eight rares for this 81 plus double upgrade. Uh, and if you do five League One upgrades for about the same cost as this SBC is, then you're gonna get five League One rares already, still have a chance at packing um, one of the special cards because there's still one rare that is given from this League One upgrade. I think what I'm gonna do today is I, if I'm gonna spam packs, I'm gonna buy a bunch of non-rares at like 600, 500 coins or less, and then go and, and put them into the League One upgrade or the Premier League upgrade, the lower tier one, and then rinse those into the higher tier one and maybe buy a few rares here or there when I need to finish one off. So it's a bit of a grind, I would say. It's, it's more work, but I feel like you're opening a lot more packs for what your coin value is. Like it's 20K, 23K a pop when you do these, and it's only 5K a pop when you're doing these. So I might do a little, I might sauce up a few League One upgrades for a stream today because that would be very interesting. Um, and, you know, of course, I'm still trying to buy guys like Marquinhos, Kempembe, uh, Donnarumma, Hakimi for my team. So if I could pack some of those players or one or two of them even from an SBC, that'd be very nice. So that's just my opinion on if you're opening some of those upgrade packs right now. That's what I would do. But today, market wise, is going to be an interesting day because usually um, on Sunday with the squad battle rewards, you know, people are still getting coins from rewards and go going out and, and kind of upgrading the team. How much is Neymar right now at the moment? Yeah, he's down at like 1.29, 1.3 in packs. Uh, this best of team of the week, number two that is out. Neymar is still in the game. Uh, Marquinhos in form is in the game right now. I believe he is like 220K. He's actually up a little bit. I think he was under 220 at his absolute lowest. 
But these guys did definitely get some supply on the market yesterday, and they're going to get supplied more today. And I think, especially with today on Sunday, you're going to see people expect or at least think that preview packs are going to be coming in today. I think today, since we didn't get them on Friday, today would be the highest percentage chance of a preview pack. So you might see a little bit of sell-off on some of these signature signings today, pre-6 p.m. I mean, you saw it yesterday, right? De Bruyne uh, was like 800 mids or 800 highs, and he did drop off a little bit in price. Right now, he's about 815, 820. Pretty rare card. But just, just watch out for the market today because um, there's a lot of flash SBCs that are going to be coming out starting at 2 p.m. UK, um, and especially if there's any preview packs released at whatever time that those would be released, that would make a lot of the market panic. So I'm not saying that those are going to be coming today. I'm just saying there's a potential for that to be coming today. And if you're looking to pick up some non-rares or some rares on the market today, uh, it's going to be a great time with those squad battle rewards because I do believe there are some objectives that people would be playing right now that would require squad battles games. So there's a decent people uh, like Baku, right? If you did Baku, People have been playing squad battles, so there's going to be a decent amount of rewards that are released uh, today on this game. So I would I would, uh, I would, keep an eye out for that. I need to do the daily login challenge number two. That is for sure. But I think the number one thing that I'm you know, a little bit worried about today would be just your golds again. Your gold cards that are in packs, uh, especially like those PSG guys that are, I know they're in such high demand, like Hakimi, um, like the Kempembe, like those types of cards. But the supply has been overwhelming this weekend. I honestly think that they these guys might have a rise this morning. We might see like a, a Sunday morning rise on some of these meta gold cards. But once we get to 2 p.m., especially if there's any panic for a preview pack, if people are expecting that, um, as people continue to smash the League One upgrade packs, and as the supply on this market really just keeps to, to come onto this game, because so many people... Um, are you know opening packs and there's going to be flash SBCs which are going to supply packs today and there's just been so much supply over this weekend with constant packs in the store that are being ripped I mean take a look at all these Ferlin Mendes that are getting listed up right a couple of these are second owner tradable like they're investments that somebody is selling and lost some coins on um, but you see a lot of first owner tradable ones that are in here actually this Mendy being down is kind of crazy because I'm pretty sure Mendy was like 48k yesterday because of all the Benzema hype and the Benzema links, uh, Mendy was 48,000 coins. He dipped down to 39, and right now he's about 38. And it looks like some of these, when, whenever you see like second owner tradable, that to me, that's a panic sell. It's somebody who's bought the card and they're listing it up. So I might snag one or two of these Furlan Mendys for a little bit of a hopeful market rise uh, this morning on Sunday. If I would go anywhere on the market, I would try to look for some of these gold cards that rose yesterday, just to show you this fluctuation uh, on some of these cards, let me show you Kempembe because a lot of these dudes rose from Friday night into Saturday, right? Kempembe was very high. He went down with the supply, got really low late night, which is kind of right now when I'm recording, and then boosted up in, into Saturday, went down even lower to 15,000 coins, and right now he's at 14K. This might be 18,000 coins. Like this, Kempembe might be 18K, might have a slight rise. Uh, into today on Sunday. So that's that would be a part of the market that I'd be like interested in, I guess, right now at the moment. I would look into that. Uh, me personally, I did not trade like at all yesterday. I was not on the game. Um, but I did just now snag this Del Piero on bid for like 730. Wow, 758. That's a pretty big undercut. I think I can get a sale for this Del P uh, right around 790. So I'm going to list that up um, here for the next for the next hour, I think I'm going to be able to get a sell on that for sure, at least overnight, because Del Piero is a card that sells a lot. He's a very popular icon. Icons are a great place to be trading at the moment. Their, their prices are fluctuating a lot, and people have a lot of coins to buy them and to try them out, um, especially some of your French icons. So keep an eye on those today as well, and especially keep an eye on some of these ones to watches, right? We had some big movements yesterday with Upamecano uh, ones to watch where Bayern actually got their fifth win. But this Upa was like 220 or 230. He went all the way down to like 190 where people sold the card right after they achieved the fifth win. Uh, and now he's bounced back up. So I know like Manchester City play today. I think there's a couple teams that are playing that have ones to watch cards that are like on the line of upgrades, right? Yeah, Manchester City is playing today. Um, I think that Sevilla uh, is playing Real Madrid. That's a pretty big game for ones to watches as well. I don't know if there's another uh game involving uh any other otws today actually does psg play yeah psg plays early today like messi 
um, and ha Hakimi and Wijnaldum and Ramos. Those are all cards today that have OTWs that are basically on the brink of an upgrade. So with their wins to watch upgrade, uh, their fifth win for with the club coming in very close here. So keep an eye out for those today. And today is going to be a very interesting day on the market. And again, it's all going to start. Did I just sell this Del P? Did I just sell this Del P? That was literally instant. Okay, I guess I will uh, take my money on Del P. That was like 15K profit. I will take that. That was very fast. I did not expect that after I saw a 750 uh, listed up. So anyways, that's some nice profit right there on a video. We move. I'm very curious to watch this market today on Sunday though. Again, just a reminder, it's going to start early and a lot of people are going to be grinding those SBCs again today. Like even myself, I'm wanting to put some coins into upgrade packs just to try to get some fodder in the club. I got to finish the Benzema SBC. I'm going to do that for my team. Uh, and I would love, I'm still looking to buy Marquinhos, Kempembe, and Donnarumma for my team. But since I'm not playing this weekend's weekend league, I'm probably going to wait until later on. Once, uh, maybe today on Sunday, if we see some big price drops, especially on like uh, Kempembe Gold, if I don't pack him or like Donnarumma, if I see, which I almost expect, some more drops on these cards today with all the supply again that has just been hammering on the game with all these packs, they've been hammering the packs. So I think there is going to be some, that supply is going to overtake the demand very, very soon. You're going to see these prices probably dip off a little bit more, especially on the gold cards. So I'm going to be watching out for that today on this market. It's going to be another crazy day. A lot of fluctuations. Again, if there's a bunch of panic selling, before uh, 6 p.m. UK, if there are no preview packs like we saw on Friday, especially for these signature signings cards, watch out for a bounce right after that. Like if Ben Yedder goes down 100K, De Bruyne goes down like 100K, same thing with Renato. People will buy those cards right back if uh, there are no preview packs, right? Preview packs are kind of what people wait for. And if there's not there, then they'll go and buy stuff up. So watch the market today. It's going to be very, very interesting. I'm excited to see what kind of content EA released. It's going to be a busy day with all the flash SBCs, upgrade packs, and stuff that's going to be out in the game already. So uh, we will be streaming. Check that link down below, twitch.tv slash the foot account. We'll be streaming today on, on Sunday and doing some upgrade packs and work in the market per usual. But that's the video for today, boys. Let me know down in the comments if you are spamming upgrade packs as well and what the best pack pool that you have gotten is. I know a lot of people have packed uh, Retal. Uh, he seems to be the most popular card, special card coming out of those League One upgrades. So let me know down in the comments what you got on that. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.